out. I find it hard to get positioned. Honestly, it's like struggling this way, in this way, and all of that. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's Adele of the Good Life. You already know, a Nigerian based in Swansea, UK. I've been away for the longest time, but now I'm back. Um, I would love to do more intro, but I'm certain I've done that. If you haven't seen my Get to Know Me video, you should. I've got to put a link so you can directly click on it. And it's going to take you there so you can just know me a little bit more so to the people who's recently joined us welcome to this fam we talk about everything lifestyle family gossip and very recently i'm going to start adding reaction videos as well so today i'm going to be asking or answering it's a q a section yeah i'm going to be asking and answering because i need to ask myself let me see the answer <laughs> i'm going to be asking and answering myself yeah <laughs> 12 hilarious fun and um what, what else 12 hilarious fun facts about me and we're going to be doing that through a q a section i already said that so let's get to it <laughs> okay <laughs> so on to the number one question it is what is your ultimate goal in life my ultimate goal in life genuinely is to be happy you know i i don't care if i get where i want to get to financially or you know achieve like my dreams and all of that i don't care i just want to know that or what i want to achieve is that wherever i am wherever that is that i'm happy i'm genuinely happy and being happy for me surrounded by loved ones you know that's one of them I'm just happy, you know. That that is the ultimate for me. That is the ultimate. And number two, hmm, who is your best friend? Oh God, you got you 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 guys are gonna think that I'm I'm I'm, I'm a horrible person, but honestly, I don't have a best friend. Oh Jesus Christ! Don't come for me. I'm not horrible, honestly, because I don't know who to name and the ones to leave. Because I have a lot of people that I, I cherish so much people that are so dear to me and um i know some people are going to be like ah what about your husband and he's supposed to be your best friend we, we don't we don't do that my husband is not my best friend he's my guy you know <laughs> he's my guy but like he's not my best friend because i feel like a best friend is someone who you literally tell everyone to and in that regards i'm even like actually closer to his sister than i am to him like if something happened i probably tell his sister first you know before I now tell him and he has his own guys as well he doesn't go around telling them my business and um or or, or telling me their business and i don't go around like chatting my friend's business to him too so i feel like you know best friends we if you call someone a best friend there should be no limits and that that is it that is it there are limits to our gossip <laughs> and yeah please don't come for me it works for us honey um where in the world would you like to visit everybody knows this so if you know me like if you're a friend of mine you already know and the answer is to buy honestly and i got like the most shattering news i was shattered when my agent told me that we are not allowed to go anymore because i know you know we've been banned and all of that i didn't think it was that serious so like it is that serious if you have a green passport they're not gonna let you go anywhere close to dubai it's so sad I was so shattered because I've been there before and I, I've always wanted to just genuinely go back there with my husband because as at the time I went, I went with my parents and my family, wasn't married then yet and it was so beautiful. I just immediately wanted to come back with my husband, you know, and then when we wanted to go, that was 2020, COVID happened and, you know, since then it's just been a lot of plans and all of that and now that we're finally ready to go again they're not allowing us going i'm i'm shattered i'm beyond shattered you know i'll just rather be that's where i want to be right now you know but um your greatest and biggest achievement in life jeez <laughs> oh god i, I love it's my family or my only achievements oh my god wow my children, my, my husband, my marriage, that, that's my only achievement. Oh, if you're, if you're going to go out, ah, shit, please. That is my greatest achievement. Not, I'm not listing all of my achievements, but for real though, my greatest achievement is my family. That's it. Um, Where do you see yourself in five years? This question, for me, it's a bit, 
I'm not proud to say, but at this point in my life, I'm honestly tired of dreaming. Like, dreaming and planning and fantasizing. It, I'm, I'm just tired of it, you know? Wherever it is, I'm going to be in five years. Because it's like, you plan one thing and life just entirely happens. And it's crazy. I can tell you, five years ago, I didn't think I'm, I was going to be in the UK now. So honestly, I'm just tired of planning. I'm tired of planning. I'm tired of dreaming, you know? It just... It just whatever goes honey i just want to be happy like i said <laughs> now number six this is a really naughty one um any sexual fantasy <laughs> ah, oh god let me write that let me go and start first of all this video is rated marriage if you never marry don't watch it don't go be for me i don't say your message up <laughs> don't mind me guys but for real though um it will be 69 honestly <laughs> i'm ashamed of myself it honestly i i i want to try it but i'm not confident enough because if you know me before you've said i've added weight everywhere and i feel like girls who are slim they can bend and do whatever and like just be really swift about it but i don't want to go embarrassing myself so i'm gonna leave that up until i slim down and come down to what size 10 if it's ever possible in this life you know that that is honestly <sighs> I'm going to lose weight. I'm, when, when you see me lose weight, just now I've done it. <laughs> hey, this one, this one, this one. Favorite sex position. Oh, God. <laughs> Favorite sex position. Skip, skip. But when does this game get fucking good? my crush is constantly changing i crush on anybody or it's constantly changing honestly people who i feel like how does their mind work or they're so talented or they're so intelligent like uh my crush just two weeks ago it was young john you know because i am absolutely in love with his songs i am absolutely absolutely in love but now we've gone back to dancing and it used to be dancing do you know that I've forgotten his own name? That is how quick my crush, just like any crush I have on just quickly fizzes out. I've forgotten his own name. But you know Damson, like the, the, the Nigerian British actor, he's my crush for now. I uh, why? Because he's funny and he's talented. <laughs> so let's see how long that lasts. Um favorite thing to do, favorite thing to do. Right now, what I absolutely want to to do or what is my favorite thing to do it's almost like a luxury now a luxury that i don't even know if it, if i can afford i just want do, does this question fit into the answer i'm just going to say it anyway i just want my husband to travel with my kids even if it's just like three days and like no work i'm not working i'm not doing anything just like just me me alone in the house just chilling i'll watch tv watch movies sleep eat and repeat for like three days the minimum three days oh that's what i want and i can't get it so like life is sad um greatest fear will be losing a loved one oh jesus i don't wish that on anybody that will, definitely losing a loved one what is your worst experience ever and it's still now relative to um, my greatest fear um my worst experience ever has to be um you know losing my daughter um geez don't know how i survived that but i did and to the glory of god i did lost that six months you know it's story for another day it, the whole thing was just it was just a completely sad story but it's story for another day we're gonna get to that my best experience ever <laughs> will still be relative to like my god forgive me but it, it is what it is it's like the opposite of my worst experience ever like having my daughter like i take little breaks from like when we're doing when we are beating or playing on and i actually like just live in the moment that oh i have a daughter again you know you are here and i'm your mom and like she gives me <sighs> 
I don't know, like she makes me so happy. She makes me, she, she just filled a huge void in my heart. So just like every single time I spend with her and that just dawns on me, in that moment, it's like one of the best feelings in the world. You know, I, I can't explain it. Some things money can't buy. I can't explain that. that that's what it is. Just like living, just being present in the moment that's, oh, she's here again, you know. Um, my life motto, let's get to, I don't want this video to be long. My life motto is live and let live. I don't want to, you know, enforce my opinions on anybody. I'm going to give it to you anyway, but I don't enforce and I don't want you to enforcing or imposing yours on me. No. So it's definitely live and let live. You know, everybody can serve whatever God they want to serve and still be at peace. That is just it. You know, just do your thing. I'll do mine. You know that that is it that's i honestly believe that that's my life motto live and let live my biggest flex you know <laughs> my biggest flex is that god has never let his eyes off me honestly i know everybody wants to be like oh god loves us this eh, he loves me too but my own case my own case is spectacular like the way he loves me he's like god really be in like the most minute things about me he is really there he's really concerned about like every single chapter of my life like oh god I, I can never say it enough like he's it's deep man it's deep and knowing that i have him there for me always like yo that's the biggest flex ever god loves me the most i do go to court if you don't like it go to court anyway <laughs> Greatest movie of all time. Make a yes, I don't ask myself this one. I've answered it before in my get to know me video, but this one I'm going to answer it again so you people will know. Has to be Game of Thrones, you know. Tell me something or show me something that is better, you know. The whole twist and everything. I, I I would say I didn't particularly enjoy like the last season, but the whole seasons leading up to the last season, I completely enjoyed it. And I don't know if it's because of um the experiences or if it has to do with um the scenario of which i watched the movie because that time when i saw game of thrones then my husband was still up and coming <laughs> no we're not doing bad but like the things were beginning to happen for us like oh we were in our we were in our moment you know and so it was just like i had peace a lot of peace then and my son i just had him then he was like i, I forgot how old he was but like as a baby he was the most peaceful baby ever I, I can't stop saying it. Chief, the chief you know now. <laughs> he was the most peaceful baby ever. So whenever my husband would be coming back then to, from work, he would come back with like boiled granules, cooked granules, half done. And then uh, we'll, I'll quickly, he will eat his food, we'll quickly have our bath, I'll put Chief to sleep, and then we'll now turn it on in our room. And then we'll now lie down because lying down is a very essential part for me when it comes to watching movies. I like I love watching movies and lying down. That time Netflix was not even there. Netflix wasn't popular as popular as it was then. So we could easily watch it in our room. We just connect it to like the laptop. We connect the TV to the laptop and all of that. And then we'll now lie down. We'll now be eating our granodes. We'll now be watching the movie. I, I think maybe that is one of the things that makes it like a movie that is so dear to my heart, you know. And now it's like we've never had that deja vu again, you know. We still watch movies together, but there is no granobs. We're not in the room, you know. <laughs> Chief is not small anymore because he's like, he's doing one thing or the other. I'm, I'm screaming my head off and all of that. But you guys, I'm gonna just bring this to the end. Um, actually, it's actually 50 questions. Let's it off. I, I don't even know what I said in the beginning, but it's, I, it is what it is. Thank you so very much for. Uh, watch it if you watched up to this point give it a thumbs up and um i did ask a, a question i did a survey like a few months back before i went on this here to uh, and i asked um the kind of content you people want to see a few people were happy with the content i was putting out and you know 50 percent said yes the other 50 said no and um what i'm going to do anyway is i'm going to include i think i'm going to minimize lifestyle a lot honestly and i'm going to do a lot of talk videos instead because that's honestly what i've always wanted to do um i i really enjoy doing this one of my favorite things to do as well just like doing this like speaking to the camera or to an audience and all of that 
so um i'm gonna do more talk videos more reaction videos um you know little bits and bobs maybe cooking diy and all of that so i'm gonna cut down the lifestyle a lot and i have a video that is coming up on my channel real soon it, it's a dear video to my heart i made it with my friend um since yeah you should you know check out that video so once again if you've watched up to this point please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel share comment what are your thoughts um i want to know and i love you guys so very much so thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you i love you mm.